At Point Comfort in Texas, Captain Hayo Baker is leading an operation to unload a mammoth 800-ton distillation column. Okay, Chief Mayor, I understand. Yes, trailers, stand by. It's a vital new component for a billion-dollar expansion at a plastic manufacturing plant. The load needs to be set down onto seven trailers before its final leg by road. Okay, Chief Mayor, I understand. Yes, trailers, stand by. As weight is transferred onto the trailer, it's vital the captain redistributes the ship's ballast to keep the decks level. Uh, Chief Mayor, you're good to go. The ship is up right now. It takes an hour to fully transfer 800 tons onto the trailer and even out the ballast tanks. With the distillation column successfully unloaded, Justin Dudek takes control with his 256-wheeler remote control trailers. The port's really, really small and it's pretty tight. You got a building here and another building over there and a guardrail, so very much room to play with on either side. Computer modeling has shown that, theoretically, the column can make it out of the dock. But in practice, it's a tight squeeze. Obstacles from mooring bollards to sheds are in every direction. A paving stone looks problematic, but the trailer's individually adjusted suspension deals with the obstacle with ease, keeping the cargo completely level. After just one hour, the team have made it around the corner and off the dock. It's a relief for Superintendent Mike Fiddler. We got around that nasty corner with this big piece of steel, so, you know, we're more than happy at the moment. Come on, let's get rolling. Justin needs to move the column just under a mile to the construction site, but she'll be crawling there with a cruising speed of just two and a half miles per hour. The trailer itself ain't that long of a configuration, but the piece itself with, it, with as much hanging off as there is makes it more difficult because you got power lines in front and in back, so when you swing, you gotta watch out for the power lines. 